Hi guys, we are back today. What day is it today? Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday after the Queen's um, funeral. Uh, so you've got an idea of the timeline. What we are doing today is changing the consumer unit. We've got a, an old MK plastic consumer unit there. Uh, half RCD and half non-RCD. That sort of thing. We tested it yesterday. It's all okay apart from water heater, which is showing a dead short, which the customer's not going to use anyway. So we'll just um, take that off. Oh, also, sockets, ground floor, <coughs> are not a complete ring. But I just just noticed just now that says ring and that doesn't. So what they've done is they put three radials in there, and it's still 32. So. You know, but the cable is only 2.5, so it's not rated for 32 amp. So we need to uh, possibly set, separate some of these and uh, put them on 20 amps. Thank you to Fusebox Shop. Uh, that's where we've got, got the consumer unit from. Fusebox consumer unit 14 way with RCBOs and SPDs. So check out www.fusebox.shop. All your Fusebox needs. You've got your main boards, you've got your main boards with SPDs all in there. Free stack now. Twin stacks, was, that one sold out. Uh, Social protection, either internal or external, all there, single phase, free phase. <coughs> AFDDs are currently out of stock. I'm sure they'll be getting some in. Uh, any accessories that you need, look at these. You've got your You've got your flexi towels, you've got your tra bell transformers for your, well, your bells or your ring doorbells, that sort of thing. You've got these Enviroburst consumer, consumer Unit Fire Protection. So you, if you get a fire, they put out the fire straight away. You put that in your consumer unit. And you've also got these intermission strips that you can put on the back of the board. Really good. Free quid. That's well worth it. And also, oh, you've got your whisker consumer unit re relocators. Everything you need. Single phase, free phase, everything you need. Also, you've got some information at the back. Loads of stuff. Uh, RCBO amendment to um, changes. Few frequently asked questions. Bits about surge protection for solar and surge protection for EV chargers. They have free next day delivery on orders over £100. And if you order before 3 pm, you'll get next day delivery. So check out www.fusebox.shop We are now in September and we've got to do something lock out, tag out because uh, obviously it's safe for September but we do this all the time luckily we've got an isolator here so no need to call Pablo out to isolate it it's already been turned off inside so there we go and that's the whole installation dead so that's locked out, tagged out Keys in the pocket. Yes, you can take it off if you really want to, but as Adam used to say, you can't legislate against stupid. So, um, just having a look in here, it's got damage to the meter box cover. Uh, what I might do is I'll offer them to either replace this little window with a little bit of plastic, or we'll see if we can change this out, or just the outside bit, put, put, an, put one of them new ones over the top of it, makes it a lot more neater. A couple of other problems we had with it is you, you may not be able to see that but there is a tiny little bit of copper showing there it, it was quite big earlier yesterday but um western pay power came out and just got it back in a little bit more so you can't really get to it something to note which i didn't pick up at the time and you can see this little line around here there's all white down there and that so possibly some sort of wall or something here and when they've tarmacked this in, they've pulled the cables down a bit with, with the um, compressor, what do you call it? Whacker, whacker plate, or roller, whatever they used. I'm not a builder, so I don't know. So yeah, they're going to come out, they're going to replace this, this. And also, question, do you know why you cannot have an EV charger on this? Have a look. Any ideas? Because of that. Why do we have two cables? One coming in, one going out. The reason is, 
this is called loop supply so this property and possibly the one next door over there is sharing the same um, cable going in so you can't have um, a, a EV charger because it will overload the cable yeah it, it, it's not going to reach 100 amps but it'll overload the cable so if you come across this and you need an EV charger you need to get out the DNO and they will put in uh, their own supply it should be a no cost to the customer right need to get on uh, so that's all locked out let's lock this up anyway and get on with some work how are you liking the 4k i've upped my viewing to 4k and 25 frames per second see if it makes a difference to the viewing i'm going to put it up on the side uh, whilst i rip it out and then we'll put you on time lapse Turn. This is the bit you dread. Apologies for the camera clicker. But for some reason, these default lights work on a different frequency. So let's go about sorting these out and then get a new one on.
here we have it all done. It's as neat as you can get, bearing in mind you've only got a limited length of the cable, uh, all um, labelled up. So you've got an old supply there, as with regulations, you need to put that into the earth bar. Uh, disused emotional supply all tagged up. This uh, CPC didn't reach, so I've labelled it circuit five and put it into the nearest one. So I can understand that. Main earthing conductor there, gas bonding conductor there, and this one at the back, you can't see, but the one at the back says unknown earthing conductor. I imagine, I imagine it's for an old water supply, but it's a plastic incoming now, so it's not required. All done, all talked up, as neat as you can get. Now let's do some RCD testing. Remember, two is only uh, one times at zero and 180 degrees on the AC setting. So I've tested these two. Next one is, let's get used to right way around. Circuit free, neutral line. Just do it on first. Thirty seven. Thirty one, so that's thirty seven. Don't know about you guys, but I always do this on manual now. Now we now we only need to test it time one times. Peace on. Go. Thirty-seven, twenty-nine. So that'd be thirty-seven. As long as you're under three hundred milliseconds, you're right. But these are well under. There we go. All the RCD testing done. Now let's just get the ball done. So that's all done now, all labelled up nicely as you can see. Leave these for spares if they need them in the future. SPD, main switch, blah blah blah. I put this sticker on now. I don't think that's required anymore, but I always put it up there anyway, just to make sure no one reads it, but just to make sure. And I hold this up with a couple of little magnets there. there we go. Little, little few magnets. Labelled up nicely. All good to go. Just started using the label printer to print my dates, looks much neater. And do you know when fuse bots are going to get rid of this? As in, make the whole size the correct size. I'm, I presume they're doing it just to get rid of the old stock, but it's really annoying. It can be really tight sometimes with that one. Okay, well done.